Welcome to a very special uh, couple of episodes of Life with Bev. We are off on holiday. <laughs> so as you might have seen from the Christmas video, we are back off to Haven. We are in May of uh, 2016 and uh, we are going away for seven days. It's gonna be so good. We've even got these, roll the special holiday titles. He's already. There's Sean, his mum, Nana. We're ready to go in the car. Proof that we are travelling in the car. So, we arrived yesterday, but I didn't manage to get much filming done just purely because we were that excited about being in a caravan and obviously the vodka got opened. And I tend to try not to video when I'm pissed because as you saw a couple of weeks ago, I don't make good videos when I'm pissed. Today, we've come out to a lavender farm. So, uh, I thought, well, do you know what? I will create like separate videos of the days while we're here but you're going to mix Monday and Tuesday together so to give you a little bit of insight here is me live at yes, the caravan good morning Beverly this is the caravan we're in a um, prestige caravan this year actually setting some pretty nice surroundings so when you come into a prestige caravan you have the kitchen directly ahead of you which is where mum is at the minute very nice sized kitchen dining room is here living room is very well put out loving that piece of artwork is it yours? no it's over in the corner there and we actually have a nice view out the front and for example over there see the little blue top that's where we go for our entertainment and that's one of the entertainment rooms and this is what it looks like from the front of the living room down to the kitchen nice little table in the middle dog's bed and as you start to make your way through Hello, darling. we have a full sized fridge freezer here some switches and we have bedroom number one the decent this is Nana's room <laughs> nice it's, uh, the only thing that lets this room down is the size of the wardrobe it's a tiny little wardrobe <laughs> but you have over the bed storage as well and a little mirror here back out onto the hallway there's some of our central heating Sean's cleaning the extra little bathroom here <laughs> This really is a little bathroom though. Very little. You nearly uh, put your head in the sink while you try and have a shit. Back out on the hallway. Come to bedroom number two. Yeah, I know. This is mum's bedroom in here. Now, where Sean is sleeping, the long couch in the living room folds out into a double bed, so we've got all his bedding in here for now. Mum's little wardrobe. Like I said, the only thing that lets these rooms down is the size of the wardrobe. But that is compensated by these two cabinets and uh, not a bad little view if I do say so myself. We look out onto our neighbour's caravan. I think they've gone actually. Yeah they have. There was a family staying in that one with a little girl. Um, not too sure. Oh that is Prestige. 
it has actually got it written there, next to their door. So, that is kind of similar to the van that we're staying in, but I think that's a two-bedroomed model. We then come back out onto the hallway, which isn't the widest of hallways, granted. This end door takes you through to my room. Um, obviously, Trey's been on the bed since it was made this morning, but I have these lovely little lights over the bed, which are really nice. Fully fitted furniture around the bedroom. So, in, in the adult's bedroom, which I presume this is, you have plenty of storage. Radiator for the full gas central heating. Uh, you have a tower of units. This is all fitted in as well, don't forget. And then in here, you have a wardrobe. So shoes can go down there, hanging clothes on here, and a shelf up at the top. But it's actually that big, we can fit the suitcases in here. And at the back there, you have your little fuse box. When you close the door, you have a mirror. And actually, it's a fairly decent sized little vanity area. I know in the two bedroom model, you do actually have like a full desk and everything, but this one you just have to sort of deal with. And then out at the back of the van, you have a means of escape window, which basically means if the van's on fire, you climb out of here. And then this is our view. That building at the back is, a, I think it's called a study centre. And it's basically, if people are coming down and studying this area, then they can go and stay there. And as you look around, there's some more caravans there. But then here's the best bit. From my bedroom, we've just come in through that door, which is onto the hallway. You can actually go through into the bathroom. So this is the main shower room. You have a full-sized shower unit um, with extra little storage bits in it as well. Overhead uh, ventilation, which isn't electronic. Another mirror, I hear. Uh, full vanity unit. Uh, this mirror actually opens up for more storage as well. And then you have another little one over the toilet there. And then you do have another door there that takes you back out onto the hallway. So all in all, it's a lovely little van that we're staying in. And everything's great here. Back to you, Beverly. Thank you, Beverly, for that update. <laughs> Very interesting indeed. Um, let's carry on then. The actual lavender farm that we're at is over there, but uh, dogs aren't allowed in. So me and Trey have taken the little walk over to here. I think this is like some sheep herding thing. I'm not actually too sure what this device is or what it does, but it seems quite funky. So this is us in the morning, but in the afternoon, we're going to be going over to like a neighbouring town or something and uh, go and buy lots of shit there. So me and Trey have crossed over the road and uh, we've come into a field that like over there is the entrance to uh, the lavender farm and then this is where we are and there's just stunning views all the way around us. It's absolutely gorgeous, it really is. And it's so peaceful as well. Oh God, it just makes it so much better. <laughs> you enjoying it? <laughs> 